Hey, what's happening, YouTube? Back again with a review of the Rhino Shield mod case. Some of you may have seen my unboxing that I did about a month ago. If not, you can click up here and check that out. Uh, I just kind of give my initial thoughts. But now I've been using this case for about a month. There are some good things I like. There are some bad things that I don't like. So we're going to get into that. Also, there have been a lot of people that have been complaining about the power button on the iPhone X or 10 or whatever you want to call it being really hard to press and it doesn't have that satisfying clicky feel. So I have a one minute fix for that guy. I'm going to share with everybody toward the end of the video. And without further ado, let's get into the final review. All right, so the first thing we're gonna cover is how bad these back plates scratch up. Holy cow. Okay, it's especially the marble one. And I wanna, let me zoom in here so you can see this. I think you can see that in that angle, but this thing scratches up so easily. This is about a week's worth of scratches. I think it just has to do with the glossiness of it. You know, anything that's really glossy just really picks up scratches. I'm not really gonna fault them for that, but just know if you get this marble back plate that it's gonna scratch up like this in no time at all. So um, now I also have the carbon fiber the, or the faux carbon fiber back plate and that doesn't scratch up nearly as bad. I've had this on for probably three weeks out of the month. Can't really see the scratches nearly as well. Uh, the other cases, any part where it's kind of clear, glossy, that's where it's gonna scratch up. There's a little design painted on the back of this and there's no scratches on that. So. It's just the glossiness. Here's one that's mostly glossy and you know, it scratches up like plastic does. And going back to the marble back plate, this cracked right here. And this was again in the first week that I owned it, just taking it off and on a couple times and that thing snapped. So it's not really made the greatest. I think they could have, I don't know, beefing it up, beefing it up. Did I say beefened? I don't know, they could have made it with a different material that wasn't so brittle. One week and it snaps like that. Uh, that's a thumbs down in my opinion. Now also my carbon fiber back plate cracked on me as well. Right there, just taking it off and on a few times. This little plastic ridge that keeps it secured into the bumper, um, it just snapped off right there. So you gotta kinda be a little bit careful, I guess. So all in all, I like the concept of these back plates that you can swap them out. You know, for different ones, you can take them off all together if you just want to roll with a bumper. I think that's cool, the versatility of that. However, they're just not made the greatest. You know, they can crack on you. And the glossier ones tend to really scratch up. So, um, right next. So those are my final thoughts on the back plates. All right, moving on to the bumpers. So we have a couple different colors. We've got pink bumper, we've got white. We've got a couple blacks. The only negative thing that I really have to say about the bumpers is the white one. Mars up like crazy when you drop it. All right, so you can see how marred and discolored that is on the corner where it dropped. And it's like that all over the place. Let me just rotate it around. There's that corner. I mean, look at the front of that thing. Everywhere this thing touches the ground, it just gets totally discolored. There's another shot. And the final corner there. So the good news is my daughter has dropped this phone probably 10 times and nothing is broken on the phone, which was the main reason that we got this phone case in the first place to protect the phone because we don't want these screens to break because dad is tired of fixing them. I've fixed like 10 or 12, or 15 or 20. I can't even keep track anymore and I don't want to do it anymore. So, we got the impact protective screen protector and we got the Rhino Shield case. It is doing its job in protecting the all important iPhone. It's getting scratched up when you drop it, of course. You know, what case isn't going to get scratched up when you drop it on concrete? They're probably all gonna get scratched up a little bit. But the white one doesn't hide it, man. I mean, you can tell every single time this is dropped, it's got its own little mark. War wounds. Maybe you like the war wounds. The black ones do not show up nearly as bad. I mean, I've dropped this thing and I'm looking at it. I, I can't even find. Okay, here's, oh, what did she do there, man? She like skidded it across the concrete or something. Now here's an example of the black bumper where it's had impact. It's kind of hard to show you on screen, but um, you can barely tell. So the black one hides it much better than the white one. 
And even the pink one, did you drop this at all, hon? You haven't? The pink one hasn't had an opportunity to show any scratches because my wife hasn't dropped it. Shame on you, honey. <laughs> drop your phone more often. So overall thoughts on the bumper, I would have to say two thumbs up. Its main job is to protect the phone. That's what it's doing. You know, the white one, so it shows up a few scratches and, and uh, discolors a little bit. Frankly, I, I don't care about that. But letting you guys know, in case you get the white one, this is what you can expect. But you can also expect it to protect your phone on drops. So, And the final thing that I don't like about these cases is how slippery they are. I don't know what it is and, and why it's so slippery, but just the material that it's made out of. So you're gonna notice this more when your hands are really dry. It's just gonna be super slippery, which can lead to more drops. So is that counterintuitive to what the case is designed to do, which is protect your phone from drops if you're gonna drop it more often? I don't know. I mean, if you have no case on and you drop it once, it's lights out for your screen. So I, for one, would rather have a case that's a little slipperier, slipperier, a little more slippery, knowing that if I do drop it, it's gonna be completely protected. Now that said, if your hands aren't super dry, if they're just kind of normal, if you're the type of person that has clammy hands, sweaty palms, that kind of thing, you're probably not gonna have a problem dropping this thing. You're gonna have a death grip on it all the time. Not really a death grip. <laughs> then this case is gonna be perfect for you. All right, so now let's get into this power button. This may be the reason why a lot of you have tuned into this video in the first place. You've got this case already maybe, and this doggone power button, it's so hard to press. It doesn't have that satisfying clicking feel that all buttons should have. The volume buttons are fine. You know, you can feel, you can hear the click, but the power button, it's hard to press, doesn't have the click. So the first thing that I did to try to fix this was I actually reached out to Rhino Shield and they were kind enough to send me some replacement buttons. Unfortunately, all of the buttons that they sent me have the same exact problem. The power buttons do not have the clicky feel that they should. Thanks for trying, Rhino Shield. Fortunately, I have a super easy fix that takes about a minute to do and it's using stuff that you have at home already. So I'm gonna go ahead and walk you through that right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and walk you through that now. Let's do it. So I'm gonna go ahead and walk you through that right now. Let's do it. So I'm gonna go ahead and walk you through that right now. Let's do it. So I'm gonna go ahead and walk you through that right now. Let's do it. Well, that's it guys. We'll see you next time. No, I'm oh, just kidding guys. I'm gonna go ahead and walk you through that right now. So let's do it. So the problem is that little bump in the middle is not raised enough to make contact with the phone's power button like it should. So what we're gonna do to fix this is just to create more of a raised surface ourselves. Super simple to do, and we'll just go ahead and do it with the black button on screen here. So we get some tape. We're going to stick the button on there like that. And we're gonna take another piece of tape and stick that there like that. We're just gonna repeat this I'd say maybe five layers, I think was kind of the magic number for me. I think that was, I lost count already, that was three. So this is maybe four. Maybe one more. All right. Now we're gonna get an X-Acto knife and we're just gonna cut out around the button. All right, and then punch that out like that. All right, so don't worry if it overhangs the edges a little bit. It doesn't have to be pretty. It's still gonna work. Let's go ahead and swap this button out. So let's see if we have fixed it. So here is the black button that we just fixed. We just applied the scotch tape to. And it's in there now. And back plate next. And now the phone. Okay, now let's see. This is a new button that they just sent me with my fix applied. And let's see if it's got the click. Yes, it does. I'm gonna put it in the microphone so you can hear it. Okay, let me get it in camera. 
We can hear that, and it's it's exactly as it should be. And we just did five layers of scotch tape, so that is it. It feels perfect. So there you have it, guys. The one minute fix for the Rhino Shield mod case power button issue. Hope you guys enjoyed that. All right, guys. Well, that wraps up this video. I hope everybody enjoyed my final thoughts, final review on the Rhino Shield mod case, as well as that fix for the power button. Uh, I know a lot of you are having issues with that. If you guys enjoyed the video, if you guys had that problem with your power button and this video helped you, please give it a like. Consider subscribing to my channel. Um, I come out with tech reviews, DIYs, unboxings, mods and hacks, and all kinds of stuff that you guys will enjoy. And if you guys have any questions about the fix or anything at all, feel free to drop me a line and uh, I'll do my best to get back with you. Well, I guess that's it, guys. Thanks for tuning in and we'll see you next time. Nothing is broken on the phone, which is the primary, <clears throat> which is the primary reason, which is why we got this phone case for, which was, which was the main reason that we got this case, which was the main, mm. which, <laughs>